So guys, uh, here is a continuation from the testimony from Oba's wife. A lot of uh, secrets being revealed about a mobile relationship with uh, Bella's mother, Onamide, Zlatan, uh, some other Nigeria entertainers, uh, Naramali, Samlari, and some other things as well. You know, deep, 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 deep secret. Most especially with the father. You know, yesterday we talked about the plant center. The father asking for placenta. So today now we're going to talk about the relationship between Mubad and Aramali and what actually happened and the the secrets and what he was facing. And according to Wumi, Mubad's wife, she said, this is a continuation. She said, after Mubad left the Malian record label, Naramali, Sam Larry, and his boys were always after him and oppressing him everywhere. They already killed Mubad before his death. Listen. Wumbi said Naramali and Samnari already handed Mubad spiritually, mentally, physically. Like his spirit was already down. Because of the oppression, even before the guy died, he was always living in fear. They keep telling show promoters that he is not well and has mental problems. Yes, if you remember, that's exactly what happened. Naramali said it himself. They said it himself that when I say the guy get mental problems, always. Uh, fighting himself, all those kind of things. They make it look like Mubad was the real issue. Like Mubad, when someone is complaining about something that you are not saying, or that promoter, be like, this guy, be like, see this guy, no correct, all those kind of things. I mean, why the guy has issues. He needed help. He needed help, but nobody came. No show promoters wanted to work with him any longer. When Mubad was with them, he complained that his manager was always giving his show how to other artists. Naira refused to promote all the songs Mubad was releasing, yet he was promoting other artists' songs. Mubad complained to Naira about this, but Naira still refused to promote his song. He became depressed because of this. He told Naramali that he was just burying his talent. He told Naramali that Naramali was purposely burying his talent. But let's be honest, there was a time that nobody promoted Mobad. Now lie, now lie, except if you wish to do not follow Mobad ever since those times he was always fighting. There were many times they weren't promoting Mobad again. Okay, let me continue, guys. Or bury his talent and that why were his song not being promoted by the label this really affected Mubad a lot and he had emotional trauma this was the major reason why he left the label when he left the label he had zero naira in his bank account this was so tough and rough for us you know when nigerians talk about emotional trauma and when Nigeria talk about someone being depressed, honestly, we do not understand. Because in our own educational system, our father and brother may bring us up. We don't understand the meaning of say, emotional trauma. You know, it's not in our book. It's not in our way of life. And all those things are the number one thing that brings anybody down. When you start having doubt in your heart. I no fit. Oh God, I no go fit do this one. They will bring beat me. They will oppress me. I no go fit make up. Ah, that is that alone. Eh, we eat you inside out. It's very very dangerous. But we Nigerians, they don't they don't understand the gravity. It's even better you have headache. It's even better you have an illness, huh? An illness that is so severe and not have emotional depression or all those things because the number one thing that brings a man down eh, is to be 
emotional broken emotionally broken so let me continue they said things were really rough it was not if we had nothing if not for bella okay sorry they say it was bella's mother that fed and housed us we had nothing if not for bella that came to our rescue even after we left the threat didn't stop coming till i jokingly asked why he does not post me and he said he was protecting me and our son that if they don't get him they might come for my son and i he live in constant fear and worries bella's mother thank you very much again you are the one at least won't be saying it out openly that yes you actually came to their rescue bella's mother was a real g or bad heart but again constant fear and the reason why he wasn't posted there because he was afraid that something might happen to them but the truth is and let's be honest People are still having doubt if that became below to Mubad. People will tell us, look at the boy face, he looked like Mubad. <laughs> but the, the guest said this, she will do DNA test. So if that DNA test comes outside saying that Mubad became, uh, the girl will get a lot of support. Too. So may the girl take her time to do DNA test. So she continued. After Bella helped me and my husband, we rent an apartment and move. To a new apartment in Lekki a few months ago. There is a CCTV, but it was never connected. When Moba died and the dad came, he made arrangements on how the body will be taken to the mortuary without telling me. I got to know from an outsider. I went to his dad and I told him not to bury my husband yet, but he didn't listen to me. Mortuary refused to take the body from them, and I didn't know where he took it to. The second day, I was in the house when someone said, Do you know they are about to bury Mobad? I was shocked. Then I went to the social media and I saw how they were already preparing to bury him on his land. If not for this for the social media, I would not have known where they buried him. I dressed up immediately and was about to go to the burial site. When my mom's sister told me that there is something called protection cloth. When someone dies, she said it is it's to protect the, the dead. She gave him she gave me the cloth and we cut a small portion of it. This was the cloth that threw inside the grave. And I used the remaining cloth to cover myself at night when I want to sleep. Okay, that protection cloth, I know that's not that <laughs> I've never seen protection cloth before. Protection cloth can be, if they want to expatiate it by the media, we might say you are protecting yourself against mobile spirit. That you are maybe trying, maybe now you buy mobile, you know what I mean, mobile spirit uh, disturb you. That's why you cut the cloth before it died there. That protection cloth can mean many, many things. So I didn't want to expatiate that at all. Because that protector cloth alone, though they indict you for my heart. But I do not want to mention that. But yet again, hmm, this is why I say mobile father they lie. Yes, so you can quote me anywhere. Mobile father said the son wasn't taking care of him. But should they carry girls, go more bad as go knack. You have every right to go to your son's house. Mobile father, they lie. Let's call a spade a spade. Not everything Mobile's father said is entirely true. I know he have every right to, to say all those things, but he is lying. They are very dark, man might not be spot. See, let me be honest. He they lie. And again, won't be true. There are some sketchy things he's not saying. So, the thing is, say everybody is trying to save his or her head. Yeah? Everybody is trying to save his or her head. Mubafada lied against some certain things when he said 
they no renters for they no do this for they no do this is lying is lying is lying why mobile father no know about Bella mother yes why is mobile father always protecting Naramali when your son left Naramali's house Malia house he was suffering why in between there you don't know the person may stand for him may stand where he did may assist him why why you don't know saying Bella there are some certain things you don't know about your son your own but your daughter now and won't be to that protection plot <laughs> it means many things so oh. <laughs> that protection plot may you put for mobad well the protection plot they don't throw and i think they don't dig that throw it may it mean many things so oh. and mobad father says for yoruba culture Say no good. Maybe if Peking die like that and they get papa alive, maybe they go put me better. You want to bury your Peking the night. Man, you are wicked. You are wicked. And not just only that. You be one go. Ha You know I arrange proper barrier. Your child was not a Muslim. You know I arrange proper barrier. You just want papa 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 papa. Go go. See, Obama tie. He tire many people because uh, if you check uh, everybody get handful for everything with decision they have taken over that guy's life even Mubad himself the decision he took everything just led to his passing but right now God has removed that star from your family now let's see what you will do yes oh God will remove something precious from you now you let's see how you are going to do God has removed Mubad, the star in your family, the stars that you that will shine really, really bright for other stars to also branch. Yeah, yes, that's something they have removed it. But let's see what you will do. Let's see if you are still going to continue your immoralities. Let's see. For many side though, anybody that is committing immorality around, I'm not with them personally, but let's let the it's like nature telling them, let's see if you are going to continue freely. I just want a DNA test to be done. And if DNA test is done, then honestly, I will fight so dearly to make sure say that bikini, all the money, me move back get there. They put her for trust fund. If not, if they give her to one person, may they take care of her, it will chop everything. So guys, bye.